Greetings, my name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt. I am a doctor of physical therapy and a homeschooling parent. I am excited to show you today on how to homeschool using study.com. We are in our second year, second almost full year because we're almost finished with this second school year. And we absolutely love study.com and we love homeschooling. My 13 year old, she uses the seventh grade homeschool curriculum. And my almost 15 year old uses the college saver and the homeschool study.com curriculum. Now, how do you do both? Well, she's doing math through the homeschool curriculum. And then the other four classes are through the college saver program. So you can mix and match if you need to. That is the beauty of homeschool is you are the principal of your homeschool. So you get to choose how you educate and how you choose the curriculum. So just to be clear with study.com, it is not a school. You are the homeschooling parent who's choosing study.com as your homeschool curriculum. So it's different than if you were part of a actual online academy or something like that. But what I love about study.com is because we initially started using an online curriculum or excuse me, an online academy. And when we switched over to study.com curriculum, I loved the flexibility of it. And I just wanna share with you here, if you go to study.com homeschool resources, you are going to be able to benefit from all these different types of homeschool resources, so to speak. And you can go through information guide and how to use study.com, but Basically today, what I wanna show you, and there's just lots of different opportunities here. Um, I'm just showing you a glimpse of it. If you actually go in and I am logged in right now into my account and I am, um, I can go to the dashboard, but I'm specifically want to show you the curriculum side of things. If I switch over to the curriculum, what is so amazing is that you can choose your grade and get the entire comprehensive curriculum for that particular grade. So for my 13 year old, we choose the seventh grade curriculum and that allows us to basically, she's doing life science, world history, seventh grade math and seventh grade language arts. You could also do the middle school life science curriculum. You can see that that's more lessons than the seventh grade because middle school life science, that's it. for me, the way I interpret that is that that's intended, that could be for sixth, seventh or eighth grade or kind of an overlap of the, the grade. So you might choose to do maybe the first 75 lessons in one grade and then the other 75 lessons in another grade, or you might split it out 50, 50, and 50. Um, for us, I really like that, how we can just kind of dive into the life science, because if I click off of that, then in eighth grade, she can go into the earth science curriculum. And if I um, kind of cycle back to the sixth grade and sixth grade, she would have done the physical science. So it really does kind of build on each year. So if you have a middle schooler, they can do sixth grade physical science, sixth grade world history one, sixth grade math um, and the, the sixth grade language arts. Then if you move into the seventh grade following the same curriculum, they would go through life science, world history two, seventh grade math and se seventh grade language arts. And then like I showed you before with eighth grade, it would be earth science, US history, homeschool eighth grade math and homeschool eighth grade language arts. So it just gives you a great variety. Then you can always pick uh, like a foreign language in there as well. You might need to go into the high school or into kind of more um, all of the education level. And so I know in some schools in eighth grade, they start Spanish. So you could go and choose one of the Spanish 101. So that is how it would lay out for the middle school. But then you can also do, let me click off of the foreign language. 
you can also come in and now you can follow it along with high school curriculum. So you can see that they have all these opportunities, even AP classes, if you choose to do that. And you can kind of follow it through for 10th grade as well. I'll click off the ninth grade so that the 10th grade is the focus. And you can see that there's a lot of variety. So if you have a student who has a specific interest, then you can kind of paper your homeschool curriculum into what they are mainly interested in for their science, for their history, et cetera. So it really does give you a lot of variety. And the same would hold true for 11th grade and then 12th grade. So you can really use study.com all the way, as you can see, from third grade all the way to 12th grade. And then if you chose to take some college classes, then you could do some college classes as well. That would, if you're going to do college classes, um, you might want to look into the College Saber program. And I've done some videos on that. You can always check those out in a different video on my YouTube channel. But today's focus, I just want to show you the homeschool curriculum overall, because I have actually received a few questions about that. And it's a lot easier if you can kind of take a glimpse in to the specific, um, into the specific curriculum. So you could see the middle school difference and you can see the high school difference. I hope this is helpful and I hope that you found value in this today. So if you do have any questions, please go ahead and look at the description of this video in the YouTube channel and you will get a little bit more ideas. Plus you will see a link there. That is a referral link. And that link will take you to a discount if you choose study.com. So you'll get a discount and that discount changes. So that link does change periodically as well. But you can click on that and then it'll walk you through the steps on how you can join. I appreciate you. If you have any comments, any questions, go ahead and just place them in the feed below. Thanks a lot.